What's up, guys? Kenyo here. Hope you're having a good day. Um, wanted to do a weekly Kenyo today. I'm about to edit it and put it up. Um, and I realized I was going through the footage, and I was like, I didn't record much of what I did last week, and I, I did some stuff. I, I went out to an event on Tuesday. Uh, me and Mr. Composition did a lot. Oh, and I had my, my workshop last week, and I'm going to put some of that footage up on this channel uh, under rest and stuff like that, and you'll see some of that. But I wanted to put up a weekly Kenyo anyway, so what I decided to talk about, something I haven't talked about enough, is my love of anime. favorite animes of early 2018 we're in march right now i've been i've already discovered like three new series um i'm gonna go through them on my crunchyroll account so let's go to crunchyroll right now you can see i have a subscription to crunchyroll i don't have i just discovered this new one called what vf vfr i don't remember what it's called but it's like crunchyroll and, and um animation together but i watch crunchyroll and i watch netflix too so uh, I might pull a couple from Netflix. Let's see. I'm just going to go through a couple of my favorites, which is basically just any one that I watch. Because if I start watching it and I don't like it, then I don't watch it. And so this is what I'm watching right now. Check it out right now. Um, this is just the front page because I'm watching the new ones um, from winter 2018. Darling in the Franks. I'm going to open some of these up. Um, is really good. I'm watching that. I'm all the way caught up. I'm not watching Boruto. Black Clover is fire. I think the Ancient Magus Bride might be cool. I'm not down. I, I saw one episode. It was funny. Um, I don't know yet. Okay. And then there's a uh, place further than the universe. Saw one episode. It's not super actiony. I like the actiony animes. I'm about some so I do like the relaxing ones sometimes. You know where they're like just going to school and they're friends and they got like romance drama. Sometimes I can watch that if I'm in the mood. But right now I'm in like an action, like lots of heavy fantasy stuff. So uh, one that I really like that I didn't think I was gonna like and I think I started it like twice is Death March to the Parallel World. It's really cool. And then Dragon Ball Super, of course. I am an avid Dragon Ball Z fan. I haven't started watching the latest. Uh, it's going to start playing this. I haven't started watching the latest. Uh, I saw this episode already. This is a super awesome episode. It's cool. I know what you're thinking, right? It's for Actually, no, I'm not even going to waste time talking to you. You don't understand anime. Someone in your life is going to enlighten you. It's not going to be me, um, because I don't have time. Anime's dope. You should be getting on it. This is Black Clover, arguably one of my favorite animes right now. Super cool. Um, one thing that I watched that wasn't an anime um, was what a tremendous amount of mana. I love anime. All this surprising. It's like, it's like first will be like, Baka! Don't you know? And it's like super villain voice. I can kill anybody. And then the dude's like, uh, you can usually until I release my second level of spiritual pressure. <laughs> See that? That guy's stunned right now. He's getting spiritual pressure blasted. <laughs> anyway, um, so Black Clover is really cool. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, I already told you about these other ones. Death March to the Parallel Universe. Let me make sure that there's nothing else that I'm watching right now. That kind of sums that up. Um, also, this one just came out, The Beginning, B, The Beginning, and it was super legit, I've already seen the whole thing, um, you can see, I'm at the end of every episode, Netflix is like, you've, you've already finished these, don't come back, Netflix doesn't even want to see them anymore, you've already watched it, it's really cool, I like the animation, mm. They do a lot of 3D stuff in this one, I guess, for, I don't know what reason, maybe it's hard, probably, to animate all the different um, scenes, and so they do a lot of 3D stuff. Another one that's really good, that was also on here, all of the Netflix ones are pretty good. Oh, I don't even remember what this one is, Kakeguri. It's probably really weird. 
Let's watch it for a quick second. Apparently, I've already been watching it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I like this one. I'll probably finish it. It's a high school one about where the like the he, this dude goes to this high school where they have to gamble. Um, it's it's pretty cool. Kakegurui, Kakegurui, Kakegurui. Devil Man and Cry Baby. I don't recommend this for anyone uh, unless you are skilled in the art of casting out demons. I do not recommend that you watch. Um, I'm eating some bread right now. It's wheat bread, so it's healthy. I do not recommend that you watch. Um, that show at all it's it's uh it's it's damaging i think to human psyche anyway it's just really dark it's evil like i feel like i'm making you want to go watch it now because lots of people these days you guys have problems you someone says don't watch it it's disgusting and then you go watch it that's what i do actually if as soon as someone tells me like <laughs> I, I or i hear in the podcast that something's really gross. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go watch this right now. Okay, I'm looking for the genre list. Um, but I can't find it. I don't want you to be looking at random Netflix. Um, one second. I'm going to find it. Genres. No, I want TV shows. And then I want genres. And then I want anime. So I watched the full Al- Metal Alchemist movie on here. The live action one from Japan. That was pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to watch the series. Uh, certain series like that, like One Piece and Full Metal Alchemist, I feel like it's too late, okay? I can't really get into it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll watch it. Probably not. Anyway, so I think that's the only one that I'm really watching on Netflix right now. I've seen this, but that's not recent. I saw that like last year sometime. Ald Noah, really good. Um, Sword Art Online, I saw that like four years ago. Very good. Um, okay, so I just wanted to stick to ones that I'm watching this year, and I think there was another one, um, this was kind of recent, Edo, I was a medium fan of it, Silver Spoon is actually really good, this is a whole anime about a kid working on a farm, it is surprisingly, like, really relaxing and super cool, I don't want to give you any spoilers, but like maybe I can play some of uh, episode one in here. So this kid, you know, like he's super smart, and it's just about all of his adventures working on a farm, and it's like his first time. So you know, it's first time dealing with all this stuff. Okay. Yeah. See. He's getting eaten by a cow. cow. So anyway, that's what I'm watching right now. Those are my favorite animes of the beginning of 2018. I might make another one of these if you guys like it later on to try to explain maybe specific episodes or other animes that I'm watching or just other Netflix shows that I'm watching. I'm watching a lot of Netflix shows. I know that's weird. People say entrepreneurs hustle all the time. I don't hustle all the time. I hustle appropriately and... I watch tons of anime. I think what differentiates me is that I've been doing roughly the same thing forever. Uh, I've been writing poems since, um, really, I've been writing since fifth, first grade um, at a level where like people recognize it and stuff like that. And I'm not being cocky. It's just everyone has different skills. My skill was always writing. Uh, and then fifth grade, I started wrote, started writing poetry. And then I really, really started writing poetry when I graduated from from high school, that's when I really dived into it. It takes a little while. Poetry is kind of like the vegetables of of entertainment. Anyone who starts really writing poetry in like um, eighth grade is because they have emotional problems. Because <laughs> at that age, you're usually doing other stuff, or like you're like a teacher's pet and like you love the teacher. And it's just, there's nothing wrong with that. Anyway. I'm making stuff up right now. There's lots of different reasons to start writing poetry young. I didn't. I started after high school, um, right after at the end, near the end of high school. So a little bit in high school too, but it was all garbage. Most of what I wrote um, from about 18 to 20 wasn't very good. 18 to 21 wasn't very good. Like it was good, and like the thoughts were good. But there's this thing you do when you first start writing poetry, which is um, you have stuff that you need to say, right? Your first like three years of poetry is releasing your angst about things. And you're going to continue to do that as a writer, but then you balance it with, like, self-respect later on and stuff like that. 
Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So very cool. I don't remember why I started talking about my writing career, but I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I wanted to give you something so that I could still put out a weekly Kenya that had some meat. Then I still have some other rants and some clips, and, and I'm going to throw those in too. Hope you have a really great week. Remember to watch Weekly Kenya right here every every single week. Subscribe. Okay, I need you to do this. Um, go on YouTube and subscribe and make one of your friends subscribe. Now, why are you going to do this? How are you going to persuade your friend? You're going to say, hey, um, I found this dude. He's black. Um, he's a little chubby, um, but he's, he's on a diet, so I think he's going to lose the weight. And um, he doesn't get haircuts um, because he's just knowledgeable. The crap grows back. You guys are paying for this stuff. It grows back. It's the scam. The barbers have to make it look really good so you think you're ugly all the time. I'm not cutting it. Just joking. I, I, I cut my hair sometimes. I honestly just don't really care. Sometimes I think I look really good like this. Honestly, if, I think I look really good. You know, get your friends to subscribe, um, click the subscribe button and then go on Facebook and then also click the like button. I mean, I might not be your type, um, so you'll have to find a different way to describe why you should subscribe. So hit subscribe, hit the like button, and um, that's it. That's that. It doesn't even cost you anything. I'm just saying, like, if you're already watching this video, like, I'm not trying to get random people who aren't watching the video. You just watched the whole thing. So obviously you might want to see another one. And it's not even like you have to watch the future ones when you subscribe. <sighs> I'm just trying to be funny for you. I'm enjoying myself. Hope you're enjoying your day, too. And uh, if you're not, check out some animes. Learn a little bit of something about life. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Peace. I was going to ask... Once I'm actually capturing some uh, vlog footage ahead of time with intent, and I'm going to use this time specifically to say that sometimes you don't know what's going to happen, but if you relax and take it easy, everything will be a-okay. Okay, this guy's stalled out. Oh, man, it's a lady, and she's on a Land Rover. She's stuck in the middle of the road here in downtown San Antonio. Talk to you later. Bye.